just to have a look, I've gone into a couple of these vape shops and the people behind the counter don't seem to be too concerned about who they're selling them to. But surely uh, if a primary school aged child walks into a, a, a smoke shop or a vape shop, then no one's going to sell them to them, are they? Where are they getting them from? Yeah, so we've done some research recently asking adolescents and young adults and adults where exactly they're sourcing their e-liquid from. And unfortunately, the number one that came out was tobacco retailers. So even though they claim to be the responsible retailers of these products, they actually came out as number one uh, in terms of selling to people who they shouldn't be selling to. The other common, um, common source of, of e-liquids for children in particular are often their friends. So, you know, older friends or older brothers and sisters who've managed to procure these products either overseas or from, you know, these uh, retailers are then on selling. And, you know, you mentioned the report this morning that spoke of kids selling to kids within primary schools and high schools. So uh, other students uh, older uh, are buying them and then passing them on to younger kids selling them. And, it, and it's almost like a, a little side hustle from these kids at school. Absolutely, a very entrepreneurial older kid who has got a potentially an older brother or who's managed to somehow get this online or from a vape store is then going on and selling to, to younger students. Well, it's a, a real concern. Michelle John Gengelis, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Great to talk to you.